New Tool Day! No, it's not another New Tool Day Tuesday. But I am going to talk about a video that I did do on Tuesday regarding a tool. It is this particular tool, which is a tubing bender. And with that tubing bender, I bent this specific piece of tubing right here. I had a very sharp-eyed commenter, a subscriber to the channel, that noticed that this was not a perfect radius. And I want to talk about why and what happened. And his comment pointed out that it looked like it might be kinked inside this radius right here. When I went back to the video and took a look, sure enough, it does look like there's something going on there it definitely is not a perfect radius and we're going to talk about what happened and why it looks that way so at first glance it looks pretty good until you start to rotate it and then you see right here in the center it's not perfectly round it almost looks like it might have started to kink now the one thing that i did do that i shouldn't have done is i gave it more than a 90. it definitely didn't kink and that's because the die kept it from kinking you know, the die keeps the sides from spreading out but we did get a little bit of a wrinkle right here here's a piece i did at 30 degrees and you can see it's pretty decent it's not real bad there is a little bit of wrinkling going on in here you really can't see it that well on the camera but it is there and then here's a 90 that i did but you can see after i relaxed that it, it's not quite a 90 it sprung back out on me but it looks pretty good as well with again just a little bit of wrinkling on the inside so we didn't kink it the die did its job it's not a perfect radius so what i really think is going on is this is just not the ideal tubing to be bending with this particular die in this particular bender it really doesn't quite fit the die properly. That doesn't help. It's pretty tight. It never really seats all the way in the bottom of the die. And it has relatively thick walls. All of that is working against us. It's just a piece of tubing that you would buy in a big box store. And it's generally used to build things, not to be used as tubing that you would run fluids through. But regardless, with all of these limitations with the material, it still did a pretty good job. It did an acceptable job. If I was building something, I would be perfectly happy with these bends. Another commenter also said he has this particular tool and he lubes up the dies and he says that helps him make perfect bends. And that makes total sense. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of clarity with what was going on with this bend. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.